change in kinetic energy. So in this part, we will consider an object if it change the velocity, then the kinetic energy will also be changed. So in this situation, if the initial velocity is u and the final velocity is v, then we can get two different kinetic energy. So for the initial velocity or the speed, we use u and the final velocity or speed, we use v, then we can get the following situation. If the speed is increased, then that means the object will gain kinetic energy. So the delta ke will be the half mv square minus the half mu square. And similarly, if the decrease in speed, then the loss of kinetic energy can be observed. So the delta ke is just a large one minus the small one. But in general, we, when we consider the change in kinetic energy, we will use the final ke minus the initial ke. So when we consider the change of kinetic energy, we are not using the larger one minus the smaller one, but using the final one minus the initial one. So make sure you get that. There are lots of applications in sports. For example, if we hold the ball and push it away, then the ball will have zero speed to a certain speed. Then there is a delta ke in this situation. It can be applied in most kind of the sport, for in the basketball, volleyball, okay, racket, and different, or even the spear fold. Here is an example of tennis. Suppose a ball is fly to the player, and then the play player hit it back again. So we will have the initial ke and the final ke. Then what is the work done on the ball? The ball will gain ke from the person. So the gain in ke will be the final ke minus the initial ke. And in this situation, it's the ke2 minus the ke1. Because energy is a scalar, so we need not to consider the direction in this situation. So it can be applied in tennis ball or squash ball. You can think of more example. And the work done involved here is the use of the chemical energy of the person. Let's see two examples related to this kind of situation. So if we have a tennis ball fly to the player, and it travels back in another speed. So what is the gain of kinetic energy of the tennis ball? It should be the final ke minus the initial ke. And in this situation, we have to change the mass of the tennis ball into kg before we do the substitution. And the rest of the question is quite straightforward. After substitute all the number, we can find out the value of the gain in kinetic energy of the tennis ball. Then what is the work done? Because the energy is come from the person, so the work done is just the same as the delta ke in part A. Then, if we move a block horizontally through a surface by changing its speed from 6 meters per second to 10 meters per second, how to find the work done? Actually, it's just the change in kinetic energy. So by using the final ke minus the initial ke, so in this situation, we can just substitute the numbers directly, then we can find out the work done by the object. Make sure you're aware the so-called work done is the energy gain of the object.